can you believe it? 2021 is in the books. This year is over with and we're starting up a, a new year, 2022. And I can't wait to get into March of 2022 because I get to go back to England if COVID doesn't shut us down and things like that. And I'm going to be going back with some other YouTubers and having a great time. But 2021 was a really good year. I found a lot of great things and a lot of bucket listers and first time things I've never found before. And I would like to take the time, this as the first video of the year, to uh, put these out and to share with you, in case you missed them, uh, these different finds. And these are the, probably the 12 or 13 top finds that I found to me. And I'm going to put them in the order that I think they should rank of 2021. And I hope you enjoy this video. And, and also, in this video, I'm going to be giving a giveaway here of these two wonderful uh, three and a half inch ammonites. Now, ammonites were uh, prehistoric fossils uh, from if you're a scientist and you believe in uh, evolution and old earth, it's up to 66 million years old. If you're a creationist and young earth theorist, then these are six to 20,000 years old. But it doesn't really matter. They're really, really old either way you look at it. And so this is really neat. Uh, my first video is going to come out uh, on the second week of January, and I, it's going to be of me digging these ammonites. And so all you got to do to be one of the two lucky winners of these ammonites, all you have to do is just get like this video, share this video if you'd like to on your Facebook or Instagram or any other social media platform you have. Make sure that you're a subscriber to my channel and comment in the comment section what was your favorite 2021 preacher digger episode i would love to get that feedback from you and so it's real simple just like comment what your favorite episode was and make sure you subscribe and share this if you can and then on january 10th i'll be giving these away as my new video as i'm digging these will be released and we'll get these out to you these are some great treasures these are old treasures the oldest treasures that i have in my treasure room and so thanks again for making Preacher Digger channel such a great success and still growing, still gaining subscribers, but I like to keep on going. So share my video, tell everybody that you know, and it wouldn't be, this channel wouldn't be what it is without you. So I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the positive comments. Thank you for just everything that you do in making my channel a success. But I hope 2022 is a great year for you as well. And so until we see each other again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. Well, I was getting a 37 to a 51 signal and I looking for a gold ring, but I didn't get a gold ring, but I got a, looks like a 14 karat gold uh, chain. Pretty nice. Check that out. Yeah. Finally got me some gold. Uh, I'll take that. Well, that's shiny. That's heavy too. That's got some weight to it. So uh, let's keep on going. This tank hasn't been hunted, so uh, maybe there's some more gold out here for me. There we go. All right, y'all. Preacher has a real good signal right here. Swing it up at 2930. Get 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 this uh, shot right there of my. Oh. Yeah, that's a good signal. On mine, it's giving 80. Six inches deep. I think it's going to be silver. It sounds good. All right. There it is. Oh, oh, oh it's a standing liberty. liberty. It's a standing quarter. liberty quarter. <laughs> yes. Yes. I was I just talking him, about I that, didn't I? Gosh. And he said you hadn't found but like one of them last night. Yeah. Wow. Look at that, y'all. Got the date on it. Quarter. Oh, man. What date is it? 27. Oh, unbelievable. 27. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, did I jinx us now? No, no, you didn't. <laughs> find the first quarter and then we don't find anything else out. I told you it was going to be something good. That was a great signal on my Oh, side. wow, man. I mean, oh, such a good signal. Get that, a close up of that, y'all. That is amazing. <laughs> check that out. That is unreal. Well, I, dig. I knew it was something good. I, I knew it was. All right, now you got to get one. Now, right. you gotta, now we know there, there's stuff out here. Yep. So let's get a picture and let's keep on going. I was digging up a 3132 and about a foot deep, about 10 inches deep. Check this. It is very deep. Check that out. And uh, I've never dug, but I think it's a large sin. I've never dug one. So let's look at it and see what it is. Look how deep this was. I see that. That's look at that. What do y'all think that is? I'm seeing stuff come out. 
Yeah, you hold the camera. Come on. It, it could be a KG2. I don't want it to be a KG2, even though I'll take <laughs> it. I want a large scent. I can't tell. I don't know. Really. Let me uh let me do some cleaning up on it and I'll come back to you. I can't tell what this is. You see a date on there? Eight um right there. Eighteen eighteen fifty something. Bank of Canada. Bank, Bank of, of Upper Canada. Upper Canada. You found a Canadian uh, half dollar. Bank of 1858 or 9. No, it says, what? yeah, half dollar. Yeah. Check that out. Canadian half dollar. Bank of Upper Canada, 1858. That's really cool. Wow. Let's get some pictures and keep on going. We're in a good spot. Yay! <laughs> well, I've been searching for about 10 minutes now. I kind of made my way up and down the driveway. And I was listening for like a 10 tone. And, uh, and I think I found it, guys. Let me show you this. I haven't told him yet. So let me turn you around. Let me show you this. Yeah, I've just been making my way around his truck and up and down the driveway right here. This is where his truck was originally parked and got a real repeating signal. Check this out. There it is. I'm not gonna pull it out until I go get him and show it to him. All right, we found it. Amen. Let's go tell him the good news. All right, I found it. Awesome. I didn't want to move it. I just found it and it's right here where your truck was parked. And uh, there it is right there. Awesome. And there it is, folks. That's what it looks like. A beautiful gold ring. Beautiful ring, Alex. Thank you, thank you. With all those diamonds in it. And it is my pleasure to give it back to you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. We did it. <laughs> I uh, got it uncovered still. Let's, uh, it's right down there. No, no way, no way, there is no, no way. Guys, this is an unbelievable yard. This was an old house site. Check this out. That is a walking Liberty half dollar, 19, oh, can't hold on to it. This is unreal. You dream about days like this. We don't get them all the time. 1934, Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Check that out. Wow. A screaming 30, what was it, a 31, 34, up to 38 signal? Only about, uh, oh, I don't know, four inches deep? All right, let me get my other camera. Check that out. 1934 walker i haven't dug a walker in a while man got a barber and a walker who what else is out here today there's no telling isn't that beautiful this is good sandy dirt look at that coins come out of the, the sand looking so good it's like in that football field that we've been digging in 13 1934 walker it's getting a 13, thinking it's going to be a nickel, and I dug it up, and it's not a nickel. It's going to be something, maybe another token. Let me show it to you. It's about four inches deep. There it is. I can't make it out. Definitely has writing on it. Has something there. Let me clean it up. Let me give you a better shot at it. Oh yeah, that's going to be a nice, uh, a nice token. That's the kind I really like. These are the ones that have value. I'm about out of holy water. 
All right, it's gonna say something brand brand Dita something two and a half cent something. And it's gonna be a two and a half cent token. Bandig. Bandid. I don't know. My eyes are bad. You can probably read it in the screen better than I can. And we have two and a half cent token. I love these kind of tokens. Send something. Nope. E A N D I D G. I don't know. That's pretty nice, isn't it? I'm working myself back out of the lake here, and uh, I got a 43 solid signal. And uh, boy, what a beautiful, uh, beautiful ring! I can't see the markings in it, so I don't think it's stainless steel. I think it's actually a white gold ring. And I don't know if it's 10k or 14k. I have to look. And uh, but that's a beautiful ring right there. I tell you what, I hope it's gold, just because it's gold's better than stainless. Not that I'm being selfish. It's one of my uh, uh, followers, subscribers said I was being selfish when I want something more. Hey, who wants a, a, a stainless steel ring over a gold ring? I don't know if anybody wants that. That's not that I'm being selfish. It's just uh, it's my preference. But uh, when I get back to the truck here in a few minutes, I'll look and see if this is uh, gold or is it going to be stainless. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Alright, just kind of making a few more sweeps through here. Uh, and so we'll just keep on moving. Alright, I'll see you at the next five. We moved on from that last location. We got us an 1850s home here. We uh, jumped out here. Seth came over here and gave me this target. Oh, it's pretty deep. Look at this. Nine inches deep. Popped it out. Bringing up a 31, 33 out of in the hole. 31 out of the hole. We don't know what it is yet. It's white looking too. So we're going to find out. Oh. It's a seated. Yep. It is a seated quarter. My first seated quarter. <laughs> I bet Jeez, you're sick now, I'm aren't you? Sick. <laughs> Seth is sick. He gave me this quarter. 1876. Check that out. Oh wow. Perfect condition. Look at that. Oh, this is a this is a beautiful. My first seated quarter ever. Gosh, look at that. Thank you, Seth. You're welcome. Oh, you're shooting yourself now. <laughs> no, it's all right. You just no more largies, huh? <laughs> oh, I tell you what. That's better than a largie. Check that out. First target, the 1876 seated corner. Oh, my goodness. That's beautiful. This condition. may be a good yard for us. Let's yeah. get some pictures and keep swinging. <laughs> Thank you, man. You're welcome. I am so excited. I know some of you guys have detected and you find these things all the time and it's just really nothing. But for me, those of you that know me, I've been in search of a largey for so long and I'm in largey territory and I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't even know what kind it is yet. It's pretty thick and big. It was ringing up like a 30 on the Equinox. About eight inches down, so I'm still in this yard. Not very far away from where I found that button. So let me turn you around. Let's look at this. Check the imprint out right there. And there she is. I can see one cent right there. One cent. There she is. I got my first largey. And what is she going to be? Uh, let me do some cleaning up and see if I can get a date on this and see what this what this was going to be. All right, guys, this is going to be an 1818 Coronet head large scent. I can't believe it. My first one. Check it out. It's in good shape too. It's in great shape. I'm gonna let it dry out. We might can see some more details on it. 1818 Coronet head. My first large scent. Yes. Yes. Well, still working this hill on the other side of the sidewalk, the uh, stairs going up. Got a 29 to a 31 high tone and just popped it up. And I believe it's going to be silver. Oh, my goodness. Y'all see that? That is going to be a standing SLQ. That's going to be a standing Liberty Quarter. That's only my second or third one I think I've ever dug. I think that's what that is. 
Look at that. I think that's what that is. Let's time uh let's uh time to break out the holy water. All right, let's see what this is going to be. It looks like a standing liberty. It, I'm pretty certain it is. I'll check that out. Still got the date on it too. That's going to be a standing liberty quarter, 1927. I've never seen one in such great shape. I thought I would find the silver on the hill. I remember as a kid, we always played king of the hill and the king would be on the top and everybody else, the peasants would try to come up and the king would knock them all off. And I figured there'd be a lot of play, playing on this hill. Yeah, that is going to be pretty nice. I've never seen one in such impeccable shape like this. That is unreal. I mean, that must have been dropped. Because yeah, I can still see the details on the shield. You'll see her boob. Wow, there is nowhere on this whatsoever. This is a good coin. Let me clean it up really good, and then I'll come back and show you a close-up. Guys, this is not a 27. After cleaning it up, I'm glad I didn't rub this. Use my holy water on it. This is a 1917 Type 1 uh, S Mint Mark. This is the rare of all of them. This is not like the more common ones, the 27 and the other years. This is not, they only minted these 1916 and 1917. And this is a 1971, I mean 1917S Type 1 so far. And uh, just in the shape that it's in, I don't know if you can really see. Let me see if I can get closer. You can even see the, let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit more. Nope, it's not going to focus. But you can see the details in the shield. That you can't see on camera but i can see it here and this is going to be in impeccable shape i'm going to have to get this one graded check that out all right let's get some pictures and let's keep on going there may be another one in here i've never dug one of, of, of this type 17 a 16 and a 17 years most of them are the 27s and 25s 26 and that that date wow this is unreal all right, let's set it up here. Let's get a picture. Let's keep on swinging because there could be more. We, I'm coming back over here and just gridding off this section where we found those dimes. And I got a 18 solid, 18 solid. Dug it up. And if, if this is what I think it is, this is going to be one of my best finds ever. Y'all see that? You see the edge of the S right there? It's tacoed over. Let me clean it up and get it out and without bending it. And let's see if we can get a better picture of it. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. That's not a big belt buckle. I'm not sure what this is. It, it has two holes on each end. And uh, I'm not real up on my Civil War stuff. It's, it's, is it a belt buckle? I don't think so. I think it's going to be attached here and here. I don't know if that came off... Uh, what that is, please comment, let me know. I'm not as thoroughly researched on my, but I've got a buckle, uh, Civil War belt buckle book at the house. I will look this up. But uh, I thought for a second it was going to say CS, but US. So we definitely know there were some soldiers through here with that infield, those sharps, and those uh, ring, those uh, mini balls. Gosh, I'm, I'm just beside myself right now. I can't believe this. Got me a 36 to a 40 signal, about six inches deep, and just dug it up. Look at this. Look down in that hole right there. What is that going to be? That is an excellent shape, too. I think that's a Morgan dollar. I think that's a Morgan dollar. Look at that. Look how deep this is. It's at least eight inches deep. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. It is a peace dollar. Gosh. Let's pluck this out. Let me get my camera on it. That is a peace dollar, folks. Golly. Oh, man. Check that out. 
check that out. Let me just set it right up here. And uh, I don't want to rub it too much. So it's time to break out the holy water. Nineteen twenty one twenty three, which is a common common date. What do you think about that, man? You worried about me getting a silver? And I got a silver all right. I thought it was a half dollar until I turned down, rubbed it, and I saw that uh, eagle on the back of it. Wow, that eagle sitting down. It's in great shape, too. I actually kissed it with my shovel. Let's see if I scratched it, though. I don't think I did because I was off just a little bit. Yeah, I did kiss it right there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That is my second piece dollar. I've dug two Morgan dollars. This is my fourth dollar I've ever dug. Oh, my day's made, man. I mean, I haven't been here. How long have I been here? Five minutes? Not even, I don't think. You just got here. I've dug one pull tab, and then I dug this. Wow. Check that out. A piece dollar. I was thinking it was a half dollar. My goodness. Let me uh, get it dried up, and I'll get some close-ups on it for you. Check that out, guys. That is awesome. Awesome. A 1923 piece dollar. Been here five minutes. And uh, all right. I hope I didn't jinx myself. A lot of times when you get your good target on the first time, you don't get anything else the rest of the day. But that's, that's worth the trip right there. I mean, how often do you dig a silver dollar? Man, that is good. Get in there close and look at that. That is good. Ah, I got to kiss her. She's beautiful. Mwah.